Hey there, Virgo, and welcome back to Unicorn Tarot for your monthly reading. This is going to be a reading for the month of February, and we're going to take a look at your past, present, and near future energies. Also, Virgo, if this reading resonates and you want to book a personal reading, <coughs> sorry, all the information about how to do that is below in the description box. And of course, if you enjoy what I do, please consider buying me a cup of coffee. Donation link is below, and any and every amount is greatly appreciated. Okay, main energy for your reading is the Patience, the Temperance card. <clears throat> Bottom of the deck, you get the Three of Pentacles. I've just started this reading and I've already cleared my throat twice. Somebody has an issue communicating here. Um, but essentially, you're showing me something is taking a long, long time. It's been a long time since you've done A, B, C, whatever it is. We're going to see why you're showing me the Temperance as the main energy for your reading. But this reading is going to tie into your past. It's probably going to relate to your reading from last month. Um, so if you haven't watched that, make sure to go check that out because this feels like a continuation of that. In the recent past, you get the Five of Swords, the Two of Swords, and the Chariot. There's an energy here of you not really knowing what to do, but that's also kind of BS. You do know what to do, okay? What you're doing, <clears throat> what you need to do or what you know to do is move in a specific direction and you keep telling yourself I don't know what to do I don't know what to do I don't know what to do because it's your way of procrastinating it's your way of essentially not stalling for time but giving yourself more time while having a rational reason to do that like almost like an excuse in the current situation you get the queen of swords the page of pentacles on the hierophant some of you may be dealing with a taurus sag is showing up here as well and cancer obviously this applies to all signs but those are the strong ones you're trying to really take your emotions out of <clears throat> out of a situation. You're really trying to kind of like shut them off, pretend like they don't exist, almost handle the situation from the most logical, rational perspective that you can. And you're able to do so to an extent. Um, you, out of all the signs, have this uncanny ability to literally just shut off your feelings. Like if you... You can go ice cold, zero to 60, like Jekyll and Hyde, like it's two completely different people. Um, and that's what you're doing in the current situation, but you're doing it to an extent. You're able to do it, not 100%. And we're going to see why. It's almost like the door is still cracked open here in some regard. In the near future, you get the hanged man, the three of swords and the seven of pentacles. You're stuck here in the near future because you're not allowing yourself to process certain emotions. There's an energy here of really not wanting to deal with something emotionally, but you need to. The universe is showing me you're stuck on these energies and you're not able to really move through them because you're meant to learn something here. And until you learn it, the universe is like, I will keep you stuck in these energies. You are evaluating and assessing, so I think you're kind of like aware of this, but you're evaluating and assessing what to do in the near future with regards to either this person, this connection, these emotions. We'll clarify and see. Let's start off with the temperance, which is the main energy for your reading this month. Temperance is clarified by the Emperor, the Ten of Swords, and the Five of Cups. Now, the Ten of Swords is in this deck, there's two. There's Ten of Swords and there's Everything is Fine. You got the Everything is Fine card. Um, you're showing me, like, I know that everything is fine. I believe everything is fine. And the reason you feel so confident is because you're able to get a hold of yourself. You're able to kind of get a grip and be like, you're in control, Virgo. This whole situation is not going to get the better of you. You're not going to let this pain, whatever it is, overcome you. And once again, there is a little bit of an energy of BS here because is it fine? If you're showing me the Ten of Swords, you are going through some pain, especially tied up to the past, but you're not really letting yourself deal with it or process it. And again, like I said, I feel like this has been drawn out for quite some time because you get the temperance at the bottom of the deck. You are able to get a grip on yourself. You are able to control the situation. You are very good at like you know, compartmentalizing and telling yourself that everything is fine. But I feel like, again, that's where the suppression comes from, the suppression of emotions. Um, but this has to do with something or someone in the past. This is not in the present. This is in the past because you're taking me back here. Let's take a look at the recent past, see what the five of swords is. Five of Swords is clarified by the Six of Pentacles, the Ace of Cups, and the Two of Pentacles. You keep telling yourself, I don't want, like, 
I don't want a new beginning. I don't want to start over. You know, I'm just, I'm okay with us being whatever we are. Like, let's just restore balance here. Let's just get to this place of, you know, I give energy, you give energy. But the underlying reason and the reason I said it's BS is because you do still have love for this person. You do still have love for whoever this is. And so this energy of, you know, like, let's just be friends. Like, I just want to get back in your energy. You get back in my energy. Let's have this balance. Yes, you do want the balance. That's not the main goal here. Your main goal here is to have a brand new beginning in love. But there's also a lot of confusion around it because you're showing me, no, 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 I don't want this. But yes, I do want this. But no, 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 I don't want it. So it's like you constantly bouncing back and forth within yourself. Um, again, it's not, there's a lot of like suppression happening for you this month. It's almost like you feel these things, but you don't really let yourself like fully acknowledge the feelings, right? So for example, if you love somebody, you're like, no, no, I don't love them. I just like them. You know, they're cool. They're chill. It, it's that kind of an energy. It's almost like you're dumbing down the colors. You're turning down the, the intensity of the feelings that you're feeling. This is in the recent past though. Let's take a look at the two of swords in the recent past. Two of swords is clarified by the magician, the eight of pentacles and the queen of pentacles. You don't know what you want here. You're showing me, I know that I want to like work with this person. Like I want to give them my energy. I want them to respond. Like I don't want to be sending texts and not getting any response, right? But you don't fully know exactly what you want out of this. So for example, you're like, I want us to like work together. I want the energies to flow. Yeah, but what does that mean? Do you want to text them and them text you back just as friends? Do you want a relationship? Like what is it that you want out of this whole interaction, out of them working with you, right? You don't know because remember, you're still suppressing it. And so you're showing me, I don't know. And so the universe is like, well, you're manifesting something, but you don't know exactly what you're manifesting. So how am I going to give you what you want here? You know, bottom of the deck, you get the seven of swords. There's this like back and forth for you. I want this. No, I want this. No, I don't want this. No, I do want that. Yes, I do. You know, it's, it's kind of a little messy, which is why I feel like in the recent past, your manifestation, your desire really wasn't coming to fruition here. Let's look at the chariot in the recent past. Chariot is clarified by the death, the ten of wands, and the lovers. You want to move past this ending. So you and this person ended at some point. There was an ending. There was a separation. I don't know. I don't feel like it's recent. It's further back. And it's been weighing on you. It's been difficult for you and you're showing me like I want to move past that. And I'm like, okay, well, what do you want to move towards? You're like, love. Love, love, love. The lovers is not just I love you, you love me. It's like much, much deeper than that. And that's the direction that you want to move in. So at least we're clear on that. So overall, you're showing me, I don't know exactly what I want with this person, but I know I don't want us to be over and I want to move towards like love. Beyond that, the specifics, you ain't, you, you're not zeroed in on that yet. Let's look at the current situation. See the queen of swords in the current situation. Queen of Swords is clarified by the Ace of Swords, the world, the High Priestess. The reason your emotions are shut off in the current situation is because you have come to this understanding, this realization, it's done, done. It's over, over, over. I don't know what clicked. I don't know what happened, but you're showing me, okay, I get it. It is done. <clears throat> and that's causing you to kind of shut off your emotions here. Um, because for some reason, like in the recent past, it was done, but you didn't accept that it was done. In the current situation, it's almost like the ending of it has seeped through all layers, all pores in your body. Like you get it. You're like, okay, this is done, done, done. Um, and that is causing you to kind of shut off your feelings a little bit and be like, okay, I got, there, there's nothing else for me to work with here. I don't want to have these feelings. So I'm just going to turn them off, which again, like I said, out of all the Zodiac signs, you have an uncanny ability to do that. Let's look at the page of pentacles and the current situation. Page of pentacles is clarified by the eight of wands, the sun and the page of pentacles. So after this realization, there is some communication coming in. I don't know who this communication is coming from, right? Um, but this communication is making you very, very happy. The sun is the happiest card in the entire tarot deck. And this communication is tied up to that happiness. Now, there's a lot of aha moments, a lot of realizations happening for you in the current situation. You're not showing me exactly what those aha moments are, which to me as a reader is letting me know it's going to be different for each of you. But you're gaining a lot of clarity and understanding internally for yourself 
in the current situation. You get the page of pentacles twice. This is kind of like you learning, you realizing certain things coupled with the ace of swords. So lots and lots of clarity in the current situation for you. Let's take a look at the hierophant in the current situation. The Hierophant is clarified by the Seven of Wands, the Eight of Swords, and the Nine of Pentacles. So I don't know if you're dealing with multiple people or what this is, but in the current situation, there is still a connection. And I don't feel like it's this one that came to an end or that you decided to end or whatever. There is a certain connection, either somebody that you were married to or it's a Taurus or somebody that you felt like you might as well have been married to because that's the depth of the connection. I don't know what this energy is, but you're showing me that. That is in its own separate category. We don't talk about that. We don't look at that. We pretend like it doesn't exist. And I'm like, why? Why are we literally pretending like this connection doesn't exist? Why is it walled off from all your other energies? And you're like, because it stresses me out too much to think about it. There's something about this connection which you don't, it's not even stresses you out. It's almost like you don't the second you start thinking about it, you spiral down this like rabbit hole. And for you, you're showing me it's just easier for me to like wall this connection off and pretend like it doesn't exist so that my mind can get a break and I don't spend all day thinking, 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 thinking about it, right? It's easier for me to just focus on myself. And look at how the cards came out too. You are looking that way and these energies are towards the connection. You're showing me like I want to just look away, focus on myself because the second I focus on this connection, the second I give it any mental energy, I just can't get out of my head. Like it's all like I, it lives in my head rent free and I'd rather just wall it off and pretend like it's not there because it's literally exhausting to think about. I don't know what this is. You would know what this is. Let's look at the near future. I want to see what the hangman is in the near future. Hangman is clarified by the Page of Cups, the Ten of Cups, and the Seven of Cups. You're stuck. You're stuck here because you're showing me like, I want my heart to open up again. I want to just genuinely be happy again. And I'm a little bit confused about how to do that. <clears throat> you're literally not sure how to go about like accessing complete happiness and that's where you're stuck because you're showing me like what do I do do I move this way do I move that way do I do that? you know like you're not really sure and it's that inability of yours to find that happiness to find like to have your heart open up again um that you're stuck in and you're showing me I don't want to be confused I don't want to be overwhelmed like I just want to come in knight of cups give someone my love receive love from them but for some reason your heart is still like, again, turned off. It's like the, the colors are muted. You're not going to be in this energy for long. There's just something that you need to realize, something that you need to recognize, like a piece of the puzzle for it to click. Let's look at the three of swords in the near future. Three of swords is clarified by the temperance, which is the main energy for your reading, the judgment and the nine of swords. Remember how I said that for a very long time, you've been like, I'm okay, it's fine, it's good, you know, about the past, about whatever happened. You're starting to realize in the near future that it's not that you're okay, it's that you've been suppressing all these feelings and that's why it feels okay because they're all underneath the surface. And in the near future, you're recognizing them, you're realizing them and there is some pain tied up to this, right? You've been suppressing these feelings for so long, all these emotions for so long that now they're coming up and you're like, okay, I want to deal with them. I can deal with them. But there's also pain tied up to that. It's kind of inevitable. But there, again, lots and lots of realizations for you this month. Lots and lots of aha moments. Let's look at the seven of pentacles in the near future. Seven of Pentacles is clarified by the Page of Wands, the Strength, and the Ace of Wands. You're trying to evaluate and assess how to get that spark back, how to get that fire back within you, right? Again, you've been suppressing feelings and you've been suppressing the good and the bad. It's almost like you've been turned off for quite some time, Virgo. And in the near future, you're like, okay, I want to get turned back right on again. Have that fire, have that love, have those feelings. I just don't know how because it's difficult. But you realize that the way, you know, the way to having that spark, having those emotions come back again for you um, and light yourself back up is through the emotions you've been suppressing. Let's see what the universe wants you to keep in mind this month, Virgo. Virgo. 
from the universe, you get the Four of Wands, Nine of Wands, Five of Cups. This is a strong bond. Remember that bond that we talked about? That's like, you know, you separate it, you wall it off from everything else. It's a strong connection that you shared with somebody. The reason you're so big on like walling it off and, you know, compartmentalizing it is because there's a lot of regret and remorse for you tied up to that. So I don't know if you look back and you're like, oh my God, I messed it up. Why did I act that way? I don't know what that is, but there is a lot of, oh damn, I should have handled that differently in the past. But obviously hindsight's 2020. you can't change that now. And that's why there's kind of this energy of like, let me put that aside. I don't want to look at that. I don't want to deal with that because all I do is like think, think, think and go down the rabbit hole of woulda, shoulda, coulda. And that's in the past. Like I can't change that now. But there's still a little bit of you beating yourself up over it. Hmm. Well, Virgo, that's what I got for you. I hope this reading helped. If it did, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe and I'll see you here on the next one.